Hello, my name is Chintan, and today in this video, we'll be learning how to model the Regio Emilio Station Zion Medio Padana, uh, or you can say the Regio Emilio Medio Padana Station that lies on the Milan to Bologna train. It's a railway station basically, it is located in Italy. So let's take a look at how we can model this inside of SketchUp. So let's take a look at that. Let's go. Okay, so open up the meters template and then make a square of size 5 meters by 5 meters like this. After that, use the joint push pull tool and give it a thickness of 20 meters like this after that select these faces and hit delete i have set up a shortcut d for delete now select this face and use the move tool and make a copy of it to this point and type divide by four like this now you can see we have these segments dividing the whole tube now select these three and move it up in the blue direction by 3 meters like this after that select everything and make it a group now press T on the keyboard which is for the tape measure tool and draw a guide point for 4 meters like this now select this and add it by double clicking on the group now select these 3 edges on the top and hold down control to select these edges and then press s on the keyboard along with the control key and then scale it like this to the guide point now you have a shape that looks like this after that bring on the bezier toolbar like this and click on this tool that says uniform b spline and change this number to 3 so that means you have 3 controlling points and then draw this and then change the number of segments to 100 now again in a similar manner click on these points at the bottom double click to finish and then type 100s to finish and now we have these two edges if we hide this you can see we have these two also we should delete this now we should bring back this and we can simply copy that to this side so for this we are using the mirror tool from the s4u mirror and then if you don't have this you can simply draw in the curves on this side as well after that we can hide this and select these and bring on the curvy loft and then click on this tool that says loft by spline and then click on this to make it a loop change the number of segments to one and change this the spline method to straight and then click outside so that we have this surface like this now go to view and turn on hidden geometry after that we can edit this shape and delete this bottom face and we have a shape like this now we need to turn on the hidden objects and go to top view and turn on parallel projection which is like camera and turn on parallel projection i have set up our shortcut tilde key for that now edit our base shape and then make a cross selection like this till this point and hit delete 
and similarly for this just select this till here and hit delete now we have a shape like this we can turn off the hidden objects and we have a basic geometry now we would use this geometry as a base to model our whole station so simply edit this select this edge and press ctrl l and ctrl r which is for control loop and control and select loop and select ring so this is a tool in the quad surface tools quad face tools and this is the tool right here that says select loop i have this on control l and this is the tool that says select ring which i have on control r so after that should close this so copy that and paste it outside the group and make it a separate group and move it let's say 20 meters like this now simply edit it and give it some thickness let's say 0.1 and select everything and give it a thickness like this let's say 0.2 meters so for this we are using the vertex tool plugin if you don't have this you can use the ghs power bar which is a free alternative now after that select this edge and press ctrl l and similarly for this one right here ctrl l hit copy and then paste it outside the group and then make it a separate group as well now let's move it across for 15 meters first and select this and let's give it a profile using the profile builder so like this like this and then we can move it by five meters as well to move it in place now go to top view and we can simply select this group and mirror it on the other side using the mirror tool like this Now again, let's select this, paste it outside, make it a group and move it like 15 meters again and let's edit it. Now with it selected, use the vertex tool and extrude it down and then scale it to zero like this. After that we can smooth it like this and move it in place by moving it five meters again like this and simply move this whole edge up to this point now for this one also we can simply go and mirror it like this and now we need to move this for 20 meters as well so let's move it and now we can delete these and also give this a uh, glass material and so let's give this and this a uh, glass material after that let's select everything and make it a group and then use the move tool along with the control key and make a copy of it to this point and type 5x to make 5 copies and we have our shape then select everything and move it to this point and now if we turn on the shadows this is how easy it was to model the whole shape or the form of the Reggio Medio Padana station located in Italy. Now this shape 
at first seems pretty dominating or like intimidating to model inside of SketchUp. So you can play around with different shapes and different a number of sides of polygons that you're making and then come up with various forms. So if you learned something valuable from the video, please consider subscribing. Also like the video if you liked it and that really helps. And also if you have any doubts, you can join our discord server, link is down below. Or you can just simply comment, we would try to reply. Okay, I would see you in the next video, till then keep creating.